it took a while for me to get into the movie. By the end, I was like, yeah, I like this. Just my thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Hitman, the new Netflix movie starring Glenn Powell and Adria Arjona. The movie is loosely based on Gary Johnson, who was a professor and worked undercover with the police department, making a number of arrests. There is an addendum at the end of the movie that gives him his flowers. He did pass away in 2022. Powell plays Johnson, like I said, a professor, and he works with the New Orleans Police Department. He is technically the tech guy. He is the guy in the van helping him out, you know, with wires and video and stuff like that. However, one of his co-workers gets in trouble for doing something, and they're like, Gary, you've been promoted. You got to step up and become a hitman. Now, when I heard hitman and I kept seeing hitman, I thought this movie was going to be about killing and stuff like that. Turns out it's a rom-com, and you guys know I love rom-coms. The first 20, 25 minutes, I was like, not really feeling the movie because I was like, what is going on with this guy? Gary's job is basically to meet with people who want to hire a hitman to kill someone, obviously, and he gets them to incriminate themselves as he wears a wire or have video and gets them arrested. Gary goes a step further by becoming different characters every time he meets with someone. He studies them, and then he's like, okay, this hitman will be perfect for you. So he can, I guess, meet on their level, you know, so they can feel comfortable of incriminating themselves so he can arrest them. That's his thing, and that's where he has the most fun. And people that work with him are like, yo, you're a natural, Gary. You're really good at this. Well, we never knew you could do stuff like this. And he's like, yeah, because for the most part, he's a boring guy. He goes home. He has, like, two cats. He's, you know, he's a single guy. But when he does this, his personality starts coming out. Now, it takes a while for Maddie to show up, played by Ariana. So when she shows up, that's when the movie takes a turn. And that's when I got really locked in like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Because he uses this persona named Ron. And Ron talks her out of trying to hire a hitman. It's very unprofessional. Everybody's like, what is wrong with you? However, we do love Ron. Ron is really nice and really hot. And where has Ron been all this time? So now the movie takes this turn and things start happening and everything gets flipped upside down. And I was like, okay, I really like this. At first, in the, the beginning of the movie, it felt like the Apple TV movie Ghosted with Chris Evans and um, Anna de Armas. That movie, it, it felt like that a little bit because I was just like, yo, what's going on? That movie, not as good as this because that movie focused more on the, the action rather than the rom-com. This one is definitely the, the romance and the comedy. It's no action even though it says action in this. So I was just like, where's this going? But when she comes on screen, they have great chemistry and she is really falling for Ron and he has to like juggle all the stuff that's going on. And I was just like, really loving the direction that the movie was taking because Gary was trying to do so he was trying to be Gary and Ron at the same time at work off work and it was all coming to a head and I by the end of it I was like I really like this movie like I said it took me about 20-25 minutes to to turn around on it but I think everybody should check it out it's on Netflix like I said so it's it's an easy watch under two hours but Glenn Powell I can't wait to see him in Twisters. But uh, those are just my thoughts. If you watched this movie, let me know what you thought about it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for